Hi, in this video, let us try to find solution for a problem called sequential digits. Here is the problem description. You are given with two variables, low and high. You are supposed to return all possible sequential digit numbers in ascending order between these two numbers. So a sequential digit number is nothing but if each digit in the number is just one more than the previous digit. So here one, two, three. So two digit is just one more than one and three digit is just one more than two. And similarly for two, three, four, this is also like a sequential digit number. And the same goes for these two numbers, thousand, thirteen thousand. So these are all the possible sequential digit numbers. Let us try to understand the problem statement by taking this example. Here my low is 500 and high is 4000. And if you take a close look at this, so this is having like three digits. And this is having four digits so what are the answer i have to return so they'll definitely contain the numbers which are having three digits as well as four digits only so it will not have any numbers which are less than three digits and any numbers greater than four digits so to generate all the numbers which are having length of three so i can start with something like one two three so this is the lowest possible three digit sequential number and the next thing is going to be 2, 3, 4. I can just remove 1 and add the next number here. Similarly, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9. And for 4 digits, I can start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, 8. 6, 7, 8, 9, that's it. And out of all this, I, I just need to take the numbers which are lying in between these two numbers. So this is not falling in between those. This is not, this is not, this is not. This is a valid one. This is a valid one. This is a valid one. This is valid. This is valid. This is valid. And all these are not valid. So I can just return these three and as well as these three numbers. So uh, problem is expecting me to return all these numbers in ascending order. So this way of generating all the sequential digits lying in between these two numbers is not a systematic way. And we need to find some proper way using which we can write the program. So just by looking at these numbers and how we move forward to the next number, let's try to identify some pattern. So to generate all the numbers which are having length of three, first what we did is we took the number called 1, 2, 3, which is of length 3. Then we removed the first number and we added the next number that comes after 3, which is 4. Now the length of it is 3. And then again we removed this first number, we added the next number after 4, that is 3 length, 3. Now we removed this number, added 6, that will give me again 3 digit number. So this way we are going. And same for 4 length numbers. So here if you see, we are maintaining a window of length 3. Each time I am having a window of length 3 because I have to generate the numbers which are having length of 3. That means yeah, some kind of a sliding window approach using which I can generate all these numbers will definitely yield me some solution. So let us try to write that solution. Using the pattern that we identified earlier, let us use sliding window approach to come up with a programmatic way of identifying all the sequential digit numbers. So here what we can do is that we can take a string of length 9 which are having digits from starting 1 to 9 and we have to generate numbers of length 3 and 4 so let's start with 3 length so here i take all the substrings from the string which are having length of 3 and are continuous so here the first string is going to be starting with 0th index to 2nd index so it is 1 2 3 and then I just need to take the next window. So first we consider this window, then we can consider this window. So it is from 1 to 3, which is going to be 2, 3, 4. Similar way, I'll identify all the substrings 2 to 4, 3 to 5, 4 to 6, 5 to 7, 6 to 8, 7 to 9. That's it. And then similarly for 4 length. So it will be instead of 0 to it is 0 to 3 and then 1 to 4 and 2 to 5 and 3 to 6 
and 4 to 7, 5 to 8, and 6 to 9. And if we generate all these numbers in this order, like first consider the three length numbers and then four length number, automatically we'll get the result in ascending order, which is asked in the problem. And if we take a look at the time complexity for this, since we are having a total of nine digits in this string, so first uh, the minimum number which is given in the problem is 10 and the maximum it can go up to 10 power 9. So minimum number of length two digits and maximum it can be nine digits here. So if you consider all the two digit, two digit numbers, so we'll be having a max of eight such numbers like 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8 and 8, 9. So we have eight such numbers. Then of length three will be one reduced like seven. Then of length four it is six. Like that, we'll have 5, 4, 3, 2, plus 1. So, of length 9, there'll be only one such number. So, if you sum up all these numbers, the formula is going to be something like n by n plus 1 by 2. So, 8 into 8 plus 1, 9 by 2. So, it's going to be 36. So, we'll have a total of 36 possible sequential digit numbers between these two ranges. And uh, any problem will ask only between these two numbers. So, max of 36 only will be there. So what are the numbers low and high you give, we can get max of possible 36 numbers only. So time complexity is always going to be constant like of 1. And space complexity, I'm not taking any extra space. So it's going to be of 1. Let us try to write the program for the sliding window approach which we discussed. First I need to identify the lengths of these two numbers. So for that let me try to write a utility function. So private int get length, we take number as input and let me initialize the initial length as 0 and so what I can do is that I can just keep dividing this number until it is greater than 0 and then increment the length till then so while my number is greater than 0 I can just increment my length and I can just divide this number by 10 then finally I can return the length variable so let me keep this into a variables low length or get length of low and then high length is get length of high and I need to consider a string to generate all the possible substrings so for that I'll take a string variable which holds all the sequential digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and I need to put my result into some list so let me put that here list of integers so out input new array list and I need to generate all the possible sequential digit, digit, digits between of length low length and high length. So for int length equal to low length, length less than or equal to high length, length plus plus. And to generate all the pos possible substrings of this length, I'll consider another for loop, so which with index zero, like with index j and my j will go till like 9 minus length j plus plus so the reason behind this like if I have to generate a string of length 2 I can't go more than like 8th digit so I can't go further like 9 minus length here so let me put the substring into a string so str dot substring of starting with j index and to consider string of length len so j plus len let me convert this to number sub number integer dot parse int it is going to be sub and yeah finally if this number is falling in between these two numbers i can just add that to my result so if my sub number is greater than or equal to low and sub number is less than or equal to high I can just add it to out or dot add sub number and then at the end return the out variable so let me run this code yeah it is giving correct answers thank you for watching this video if this was helpful to you please do like it if you like to watch more such videos please subscribe to my channel layman coding if you have any comments please write them below 
Thank you.